Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here. Welcome back to another FIFA 18 career mode video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos so far. And this is a bit of a different video today as uh, we have hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. A dream come true for me, honestly. And hopefully we keep growing and you guys keep loving the content. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, please smack the like on it and subscribe if you haven't already to join the more than a thousand people that have subscribed to the channel and in this video I am showing you guys one of the greatest ever teams on FIFA 18 career mode and I've got them in their first season and I'll show you guys what they look like here we're playing a 3-5-2 with the best wonder kids in the world to show you guys how they develop and you know grow over time and hopefully by the end of it in 2024 show you guys at their peak and probably be one of the best uh, career mode teams of all time. However, this is a team as they have started. We do have a 3-5-2 formation here. We do have Mbappe and Gabriel Jesus in the starting positions there. For the strikers, we do have the wonder kid himself, uh, Marco Asensio, the Spanish midfielder. 84 rated there with a 92 potential. We do have Yannick Carrasco there on the left midfield. Uh, 85 rated, very, very decent Belgian winger. We do have Mr. Paul Pogba himself, 92 potential this year. The French midfielder, very, very decent in this game. We do have Saul from Atletico Madrid, another Atletico Madrid player within this team. 90 potential, we're going to see how he grows throughout the seasons. We do have um, Dembele from Barcelona there. Um, the French right winger is another wonder kid on this game. Uh, another one from Barcelona as well. Nelson Tomato, the Portuguese right back, playing at right centre back. We do have the centre back of the team, uh, Rafael Varane, a wonder kid for many, many FIFA career modes in a row, as well as his partner, Nicolas Sule, or Sul, I don't know how to pronounce it, everyone bags me out for pronouncing his name, however, we're going to call him Sule, or Sul, I don't know, we're going to we're gonna call him Nicolas, I don't know. Um, we do have the Italian goalkeeper, Donnarumma there, uh, 82 rated, he's got a uh, 94 potential as well, such a class goalkeeper, he's going to be the, the heir to the throne of the Italian goalkeeping uh, reigns from Gianluigi Donnarumma. We do have Albin Lafonte, the French goalkeeper. It's going to be our backup keeper for this career mode. Uh, the French goalkeeper there, he is uh, from Trelus, I do believe, and he does have an 87 or 88 potential. I don't even know, but he does have a very decent potential. Um, Delit here, the... Um, <laughs> Oh, I love the live comms. I can stop and pause whenever I want. So good. All right. Delit, the center back from the Netherlands, only 18 years of age, uh, 76 rated, does have a very, very high potential. So we're going to see how he grows as well as Marco Verratti, another Italian in this team, as well as the English striker Harry Kane to come off the bench, as well as Arsenal's own Hector Bellerin. We do have... Um, as well, a lot of uh, players on the reserves. Uh, we do have Deli Alley there for Tottenham. Uh, we do have Bernardo Silva, recently signed from Monaco to Manchester City. Uh, we do have Thomas Lamar, the French winger. Arsenal on the verge of signing him on deadline day, however, stayed at Monaco. We do have Anthony Martial as well, such a great player with 90 potential. We do have T. Limans, uh, Karimo and God, pretty much, the centre midfielder there. Uh, we do have uh, Saar, I do believe, from Nice, 90 potential as well. No, 88 potential, sorry. We do have Marcus Rashford, the left midfielder, can play striker and right midfielder as well. Uh, we do have uh, Leroy Sane from Manchester City, as well as Christensen from Chelsea. Barco from Independ Independiente, I'm pretty sure, from Argentina. All I know is from a team in Argentina, he's got 90 potential. 91 potential, actually, in the new update. So he's going to be a great uh, little player in the future. We do have Ryan Sessegnon, the left-back English beast uh, from Fulham, as well as Christian Pulisic. We do head down to the lesser-rated players, however, do have a lot of growth in them. Uh, we do have Henriks from Bayer Leverkusen, the German right-back. Does have very, very decent potential. Alina does have 89 uh, potential, I do believe. 73 rated center midfielder as well 
as the man himself. Uh, we did no introduction with uh, this player, Gomez, the Englishman from Manchester United, with a 90 potential as well as Bareka. He does have an 86 potential for a left back, which is insane. And we do have final two players here. Danny Ceballos from Real Madrid, recently signed in the summer uh, with a very, very decent potential of 87. We do have, uh, is it Hernandez? I'm not sure which Hernandez is it. I, I think it might be Lucas. Guys, it is in fact the Frenchman Lucas Hernandez. So what we're going to do with this team is simulate seven seasons into the future from now into 2024 to have a look at these players in the peak of their powers to see uh, their mad overalls they're going to have uh, to form one of the greatest teams you guys will ever see on career mode. So I'll see you guys in 2024. So guys, we've arrived at the 23-24 season, seven seasons into the future to see how the Wonder Kids have gone in this team and to see their overalls and growth so far throughout this save as we're going to look at the squad hub to see from the lowest rated player all the way to the highest rated player as we start off here with the Manchester United English Wonder Kid. Angel Gomez, uh, 84 rated. He's gone up to this season, so very, very decent stats because he hasn't played any games. As you can see, they're very nice stats in the physical side as he got some light greens and he's still got so much to grow as he's only 23. He did start off 16, so seven years in the future, he's still 23. He's got about still five years of pure growth on him until he starts declining, but still very, very decent for him. Moving on to our next wonder kid, Malang Saar, the French centre-back, 24 years of age, 85 rated. He's gone up one during this career mode says, as you guys can have a look at his stats there. Uh, very, very, d greens all over, pretty much. Uh, very, very decent physical stats as well for a defender. He's only 85, so he's got a lot of room to grow, as long as another centre-back, uh, Delit, the Dutch centre-back, 85 rated as well, 24 years of age. Uh, grown, grown one during this season, and as you can see, his traits and stats all there, all green, all looking very decent. Um, and keep in mind, guys, these are the lowest rated players in our team, so we've got some beasts to go over as well as our next player, Benjamin Henriks, the uh, the German right back uh, has got some decent stats on him. Greens, dark greens, pretty much um, pretty much spread all over. Um, light greens as well. Only got a few stats he's not that great in, but he's still a very, very solid right back and left back. He can play right and left back. But we move on to the 30-year-old uh, Nelson Semedo from Barcelona. The Portuguese right back, very, very pacey as his physical and mental stats are absolutely out of this world. Technical, uh, very decent for a right back as well. As we move on to another Spanish right back, Hector Bellerin, 88 rated. You guys already know uh, he is a very, very decent player. 28 years of age, um, does have amazing pace on him, 99 pace on him. He's going to be a gun in the future for Arsenal or maybe Barcelona if he ever moves there. But we do have Lucas Hernandez, the 88 rated Frenchman. A lot of French uh, people in this squad. So very right future for France. As you can see there, he stats one of... The lesser rated centre backs, we still 88 as we move on to Danny Ceballos. Uh, this, uh, the Spanish centre midfielder can pretty much play anywhere in the midfield. Has got very decent stats there, light greens and greens all over. A very well rounded player as we move on to yet another Frenchman. It's Alban Lafont in goals. 89 overall, very decent, didn't hit that 90 though, but he does show some very good stats in there. For our backup goalkeeper, we move on to Nicolas Saul, the German centre back, 89 rated, Did, of course, these are the players that just missed out on the 90, but you can see they're still showing very decent stats as we move on to the Barcelona B, um, wonder kid, Carlos Elena, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I'm saying that right, still 25 years of age, 89 rated, he's grown at one during this season, didn't get much game time, but still a beast, and we move on to one of the older players in this team, Marco Verratti, 31 and 89 in 2027, he did go down one, however, any stats uh, did decline as well, as we move on to Ezequiel Barco, 24 years of age, still 89 rated, he's improved one this season and his stats have gone up as well, so a very uh, exciting season for him and he still can grow as well. Um, and we move on to another old player in this team, 30 years old, he's hit it, uh, he's gone down one as a result, it's Yannick Carrasco, the Belgian, our first Belgian player in this team, he's left winger and right mid um, from Atletico Madrid, he's very, very good in the start of this career mode, 
It was as soon as they hit 30, they declined. So we move on to the Dane, Andreas Christensen from Chelsea, 90 overall. The centre-back slash CDM uh, is 27 years of age and he's pretty much at his peak. Uh, So he's got a few more seasons left in him uh, and then he'll start declining. But we move on to another 30-year-old in this team, Harry Kane, 90 rated. He's hit his potential, has got some nice stats to show for it. Dark greens and greens pretty much all over and he's a long shot taker as well. In the traits. Very important for a striker as we move on to his Tottenham compatriot, Deli Alley. The Englishman, again, 27 years of age, three years younger than Kane, uh, can play striker, cam, uh, left mid and centre forward, 90 rated, green stats pretty much all over. You guys know he is a beast in Karimo. He's got the flair and technical dribbler trait as well with him. So he comes packed with the full package pretty much as we move on to another central midfielder. Pretty much the most well-rounded player in this team. Look at Yuri Tillemans, our another Belgium in this team. 90 rated, only 26 years old. Look at those technical stats. Pretty much all green except for his marking and headering accuracy but not really that important on a midfielder. He is such a well-rounded player and of course is another wonder kid, uh, another Belgian wonder kid in in this year's game and it has been for a few seasons now pretty much ever since FIFA 15 pretty much Sol or Sol Ninguez whatever his name is is a Spanish midfielder from Atletico Madrid 90 overall he's a center mid slash right mid left mid from Atletico Madrid 29 years of age, nearly hit 30. He'll probably start declining next season, but his stats, of course, are out of this world for a central midfielder. Uh, and it's what you expect with Spanish midfielders, probably um, the heir to the throne of Xavi and Iniesta. As we move on to Anthony Martial, another uh, spectacular Frenchman. Look at those physical stats, acceleration, speed, all in the 90s as well as, uh, you know, balance, agility, jumping, just absolutely brilliant as well as ball control, crossing, dribbling, finishing, just he is a complete winger there with 90 plus everywhere you look as well as his Manchester United compatriot, the Englishman, uh, Marcus Rashford, 26 years of age, still very young in this game, 90 overall, he's hit his potential, but he's got nice stats, such as the technical stats there. Uh, he's ball control, crossing, dribbling, all out of this world. And green is what you want to see with Marcus Rashford. As we move on to our first 91 rated player, it is Leroy Sane, the Manchester City wonder kid, the German, the winger, 27 years of age, 91 rated. He is an absolute gun in career mode this year. And the German is only 27 years of age still and can play on either flank, left wing or right wing. As we look on to Thomas Lamar, yet another Frenchman in this squad, left mid, 28 years of age, 91 overall from Monaco, he's got all dark greens pretty much, all over the technical and physical elements of his stats, he's got some set play specialist uh trait as well, so he's a valued member of this team at 91 overall, very, very Decent winger in career mode, and I definitely recommend you pick him up as well as Bernardo Silva, the Portuguese right midfielder. Uh, he's got a very, very bright future with Man City and the Portuguese national team. 29 years of age, 91 overall, the right mid. He's got dark green stats all over his squad report, as you guys would expect with these 90 plus overall players. We move on to our first 92 rated player. It is the wonder kid of Spain, Marco Asensio, the central attacking midfielder slash winger. Is 92 overall. He's achieved his potential in this career mode save. 27 in 2024. As we look at his acceleration, sprint speed, agility, and his technical stats are just mouth-watering to look at. 92 rated. He is the dream player to purchase in career mode, and is still only 27. He's in his prime, and he takes for us free kicks as one of his traits. So he's a valued member, of course. Moving on to. Of course, another Frenchman, Usman Dembele, 92 rated, 26 years of age still. And Barcelona have a great replacement for Neymar there, 92 rated, pretty much matching Neymar. has got dark greens in pretty much all the technical stats you would want the right winger to have. And he's pretty much going to lead the line for France in future World Cups in the future. Moving on to another Frenchman. We got so many Frenchmen in this squad. It's Raphael Varane, 92 rated, 30 years of age. One of the older players in this squad. Still such a great player, reaching his 92 potential. Higher than previous years. He's still always been a wonder kid, but he's got some great stats this year and he grows 
into an absolute beast, a tank of a centre-back, whatever you want to call him, because his pace is absolutely outstanding for a centre-back. Moving on to our first Brazilian of the team, we do have Gabriel Jesus from Man City, 26 years old, the striker. Physical stats pretty much are just complete. He is an awesome striker, 99 in a few stats there. Dribbling, ball control, all dark greens, finishing as well. It's just absolutely perfect for the Brazilian and he's 92 rated, so the perfect striker you guys want to buy. And guess who he's paired with? Kylian Mbappe, the Frenchman. Of course, another Frenchman in this squad. 94 rated, 25 years of age, striker and right wing. Excellent form, of course. Dark greens in the physicals, which is what you want. 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Just give me more, man. Of course, the dark greens are all over this guy. 94 rated. He's hit his potential of 94, and he, he is an absolute gun of a player. Probably a future Ballon d'Or winner. Probably going to win it off Ronaldo and Messi. is just absolutely a god in Karima this year. Pretty much the best uh, Wonder Kid you can buy. However, we do have Gianluigi Donnarumma, uh, 94 rated. He's hit his potential as well as Kylian Mbappe, showing wonderful, wonderful signs there. He's pretty much as tall as a screen. He's a very, very tall player, only 26, of course. Uh, only the two uh, players rated 94. However, those are his goalkeeping stats. Just to look, 99 reactions. What a gun. Uh, he does have uh, 95 goalkeeper diving, 90 handling. He has some more in-depth look at his goalkeeper stats. Of course, they're very in the high 90s, high 80s. And if some of you guys are wondering, uh, some players were missing from the start. Unfortunately, Paul Pogba and Bareka there uh, went off contract, forgot to sign them on new contracts, and they left for bigger and better things. Uh, to Borussia Dortmund, Paul Pogba, 92 rated at 30 years old, and Antonio Bareca, 28, right, uh, 28 years old and 85 rated. Didn't hit his potential there of 86, but still a very, very decent left back. And that is it. That is one of the greatest teams on FIFA 18 career mode in 2024. So you guys have got a lot to look forward to in the future of your saves. This is how the team lines up in a 3 5 2 90s pretty much all over the pitch. It is pretty much the best team and a team for the future. Who knows? Barcelona, Real Madrid uh, could have some of these players in their teams in the future. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode and this special video on the channel of the greatest team in FIFA 18 career mode. If you did, please smack a like on it. Uh, subscribe for more FIFA 18 career mode content. Follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys in the very next video.